Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com. Had to make this quick video. Uh, this is gold on the 12 minute. And a lot of people ask me, does the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite work on smaller time frames when day trading? And this is a prime example of, yes, it frigging well does. So um, you've got to be patient. And it's basically, we're looking for pullbacks against the main trend. So this, the, the bullish trend has been th uh, throughout the Asian and the European session. We're coming to the uh, European lunchtime and then we've had a wave for pullback. So the indicator suite has labeled it one, two, three, four. And it's the fifth wave that we're really interested in. So I'm going to zoom in there. It's just tipped. Just, before, just as we get the opening for the gold pit open, it's just tipped that fifth wave and the profit should be taken. So right now, this is live. This is what's happening. I want to go through this fourth wave pullback very very important here as we get this wave four pullback it pulls back into our probability zones if it finds support in this green zone which it did there's an 85 percent probability it's going to hit our automated fifth wave target zone hey and it did okay the next thing we look at the wave four behavior we look at this false breakout stochastic here these yellow dots denote false breakout strong bullish trend when the stochastic pulls back against there in the oversold zone, it's like it's on elastic band. It wants to return to that main overbought zone, which it did. The next thing is we look at the behavior this wave for on our Elliott wave oscillator, all part of this same suite, because we're looking at measuring the behavior. We can see here that the oscillator pulled back between 90 and 140%, this crowning here on the wave four. Perfect, perfect setup for a fifth wave trade. Where's the entry? Two options here. We give you a conservative option with the 6-4 moving average high, this blue moving average here. That's your entry here at 1780.20 and 17.86 is your target. So 6.60 tick trade there. Another thing that we look at is we look at regression trend channel and we go from the point three to the point four so we're measuring the fourth wave now if that is 0.93 so that's 93 percent pearson's r that's a very good wave for pullback and what we're looking for is a breakout of this channel here personally i think i would have just been a little bit sensible here gone above this pivot on this there so entry at 17 79 for now okay so really really you know the aggressive entry with the pearson's are above 90 90 percent on this regression trend channel for the fourth wave aggressive if you don't want to be aggressive go conservative i think the difference is around about 10 ticks for that entry as you can see here it's hit our automated fifth wave target zone and bounced straight off that's your target get out really great example of using Elliott wave on smaller intraday day trading time frames this is the 12 minute on gold and what we would see as a perfect setup it's not just on the 12 minute though you go down to the three minute or the five minute there you go it was a fourth wave pullback on the three minute and the five minute look at the 90 to 140 uh, you know we got a great uh, stochastic there multiple time frames giving you multiple trading opportunities to trade that fifth wave also look at that expert algo giving you the six star buy there on the three minute if if it wasn't enough to get in on the 12 minute look you, when you're looking at multiple time frame strategies you now got an expert signal to go along this was one hell of a trade great 60 tick trade going into the gold pit open there fantastic looking trade hopefully this helps great elliott wave is fantastic not just for swing trading but also for that intraday and day trading time frames